people's lawns and other growing spaces in urban areas could be made to work like greenhouses, it seems to me that we could eventually have cities that would be like rain towers for the surrounding landscape because there's an enormous potential when you have a, a growing space that's sealed to use energy and water far more efficiently. If you can recycle the water within that space, have it evaporate or be transpired through the plants, but still catch the water and then have it come down as dew and be used again, that's an enormous energy savings because the water delivered to us by rain has to travel thousands of feet up into the atmosphere against the force of gravity, which takes tremendous amounts of energy. Evaporation is a very energy intensive process. And then it has to be pulled back down again against the force of friction as, as water droplets or snow are pulled through the air. So it's a, a big energy consumer in the Earth's total solar energy budget. Now if you make it so the distance that the water has to travel to be useful is only a few inches or feet, that's a tremendous energy savings. And that would potentially leave all the rainfall that, that falls on your, your greenhouse in your yard potentially something that could be made available to be sent outside the city and, and used for other purposes other than household purposes. So, and also a city transports a lot of its water underneath the ground, so it's not subject to evaporation and losses that way. Cities also make net supply of rainfall and snowfall to the areas around them because they have what's called an urban heat island effect and they generate a low pressure system that pulls the air up and makes it more likely to be lifted so that it condense and can condense and fall as rain outside. So the greenhouse effect is a potential enormous contributor to improvement of climate, <laughs> which would ironically be a change, because even if it's a more desirable climate, you've got to change to get there, of the surrounding landscape. And something, strangely enough, that we shouldn't be demonizing, the popular usage of it, original usage of it, was something that was supposed to bring disaster, and which had to be renamed as people got used to hearing it. So if you have something that uh, people eventually adapt to as a form of propaganda, you have to rename it, and this has of course occurred twice. <laughs>